Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Wesson. Today I'm going to do uh, two canvases with a blow dryer. So it's Dutch pour using a blow dryer and it's going to be opposite colors. I'm recycling these two canvases. I did not like the previous painting. Uh, one I painted white because uh, it's, the base is going to be white. And the other one I kept it the same. I just made sure that I cleaned it very well using alcohol. Um, now as you see, I'm flooding my canvases with the base coat for all the information regarding my pouring medium paints and everything else please check the description box below sorry for my voice i've been feeling a little bit tired lately uh, just make sure that all the edges are covered as well as the top of the canvas now i'm torching the bubbles and i'll start right here layering the <clears throat> paints that I'm going to blow dry, uh, I chose a pattern that is oval shaped. So as I said, one base coat is white, the other one is a brush and blue. And I'm um, taking the white into the brush and blue and the brush and blue into the white. Uh, the first layer is a brush and blue on the white and then white on the brush and blue, then turquoise green and a cyan blue, a little bit of white, um, silver and gold so and then again with the a um, turquoise and a little bit of the Russian blue just a little bit to give it more color and then gold and torching the bubbles again you will see now this is normal speed so i want you to see the angle of the blow dryer it's almost 90 degrees but it's not really it's just a little bit with an angle and we go very very slow and close to the canvas but don't touch the canvas so very close very slow with an almost 90 degree angle and you will see the paint shrivel and move real slowly. You need that effect because you want the paints to um, blend well together and blend with the base and show out the true colors that you want to see. So if for any more questions, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. And I would really, really appreciate your support by just liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting the notification button. Share my videos if you like them. I hope you really like this one and enjoy it as much as I did.
I will dip my finger in the paint and move it around to create shape and movement. You will see that if I don't like anything, I will remove it, clean that area, and retouch it again. It's fine. It's only paint. You can always paint over it or just scrape it off. So some things I might regret later, but the end result was fine. So here I'm scraping this part and adding some more base color and then just redoing it. Uh, some areas are drying up, so I'd like to add a little more paint because I don't want the base to start showing since it's a previous painting. And here I'm scraping this part off and then just adding some more white. Uh, let you see the process. And uh, at the end, I took a, uh, a close-up video. And while I was doing that, I realized I needed to retouch some areas. I forgot to uh, tape the retouches, but I did another um, close-up, and you will see what happened. Uh, always make sure that you scrape the edges like I'm doing now to remove any excess paint. Uh, I'll do this few times so the best thing to do is that you scrape the edges come back after five minutes do it again repeat for three times uh, if you have a lot of paint in my case i didn't have a lot of paint the paint was already uh, drying up so i didn't need to do it as much here i'm just adding some of the fatal blue, uh, brush and blue because the where i dipped and uh, dragged my finger was a little bit dry. Uh, 